Hey guys, welcome to another video. This one is special. We have waited for a long time. Yes, we are talking about the latest OxygenOS port for the K20 Pro. The fingerprint scanner is finally fixed. Is it a daily driver or not? We will definitely go ahead and check. This is an install and preview and later I might review this ROM. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the change log, how to install it and what are the first impressions. But before we do all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our Telegram channel and our Discord channel. The links are mentioned in the description. We have a group where you can chat with us and have a whole lot of fun and information at the same time. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So to begin with, let's have a look at this Telegram group and before we actually start talking about this particular ROM, I would like to give a big, big shout out to this particular team. The credits are mentioned in the description. They have done a stunning job of making sure this ROM is usable. So let's have a look at the change log. They have switched to OnePlus 7T vendor, fixed max brightness slider enabled McLaren option in customization, fixed 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, that is very critical for me, fixed double tap to wake toggle, reduced keyboard height. So the highlight over here is that the fingerprint scanner works. It is not as amazing as, you know, some custom ROMs or MIUI, but it is getting there and hats off to the efforts of these guys over here. So the link to their Telegram channel is mentioned in the description as well. You can go ahead and donate to the developer if you wish to. And I think you should if you can. So let's begin with the install and preview. Now, as you can see over here, I am on Xiaomi.eu. That is the next video that is coming up. So what you need to do here is make sure all your data is backed up. If you want to know how to back up the data, there is a video in the K20 Pro playlist. Go ahead and check that video out. But what you need over here is the vendor for this ROM, which is different compared to your stock MIUI vendor. You need the system and then you need the kernel. The link for everything is mentioned in the Telegram group, which is in the description of this particular video. I would recommend you back up all the files in your internal storage because we would be going all out and formatting data just to make sure you have a clean and stable flash. So first things first, make sure you have more than 50% battery, a unlocked bootloader with a custom recovery and you have the files copied to a thumb drive because we will be formatting the internal storage, something like this. So let's boot into recovery, shall we? All right, so we are in Orange Fox. The first thing we'll do is go to Manage Partitions, Data, Tick Mark, Format Data, Yes. Okay, that will take care of all the encryption, decryption related things, which I always do. And then go to Reboot and go to Recovery. Do not try to reboot to system. I mean, you can, it would just boot into your ROM, but still. So now while you're back into Orange Fox, we will go to wipe. Now over here, we're gonna wipe everything. Dalvik, cache, system, vendor, data, and internal storage. Now once all of that is wiped, make sure you don't reboot over here and you can connect your thumb drive. Okay, now go to mount and mount the USB storage. And now we will begin the flashing process. All right, so now, Go to the drop down, select the USB OTG. You need to first flash the vendor, then the system, then you need to reboot into the ROM. Once you have rebooted, you can go back to the recovery and flash the custom kernel. Now there are versions of Gcam and ANX cameras which work on this particular ROMs. We will get into that detail when we do the full review. For now, let's go ahead and fl first flash the vendor. So the crescent over here is the vendor and then add to queue and select the system swipe to flash now this will take two to three minutes so please be patient now, there is a reason i'm a little excited about this i did use it yesterday while i was at work but because i was at work i had to flash back to miui but the whole feeling of having an official oneplus rom in the form of a custom port on your phone makes a whole lot of difference because then this phone feels better than what a oneplus 70 would be now mind you one of the very few differences in this phone and that phone hardware wise is that phone has a punch hole and this one has 
a pop-up camera so essentially this is better and if you have a fully functional oneplus software this phone works perfectly fine and looks great as well so the rom has been flashed let's go ahead and reboot the system now remember the first boot will take anywhere between two to three minutes and in case even after doing all of this you encounter a boot loop you need to go back to recovery and don't do much you just need to format data but when this rom boots up your phone will look as good as a oneplus 7t let's wait for it to boot up all right so looks like our first attempt of flashing this rom was a success because the rom has now booted up now at this point you can choose yourself to go back to recovery and flash the kernel all right now at this particular point if you see the brightness is a little high because we are in the setup screen but if i click on next i can actually set up the pin to be one two three four one two three four and then it will ask me to actually use the fingerprint scanner now this you see over here was the reason you know it was a little the whole display becomes very very bright because the fingerprint scanner is in display and it needs maximum brightness to recognize your thumb impression properly that is what they have fixed and i'm pretty sure by the time we get the next build it would be even better all right now as you can see over here this is the classic uh, oneplus look the oneplus oxygen os look let's actually reduce the brightness over here and let's disable automatic brightness so that it doesn't look that bad so right off the bat as you can see over here voice over wi-fi voice over lte everything is working fine let's quickly go ahead and check over here so if you go to wi-fi network you go to sim and network the best part is 5 gigahertz wi-fi mode is fixed as well as you can see over here voice over wi-fi is already there and even if i try to make a call calling via wi-fi on geo so that is working call recording is working all the other things i have tested and this is what the rom looks like if you want you can definitely try it you do have you know the face unlock and all the other options you can give it a try but if you actually go to settings and say if you go to about phone over here so as you can see over here it does say that the phone is a oneplus you know with the 855 plus and all the other options but it actually is your k20 pro now all in all if you have a look right off the bat how smooth and quick oxygen os is and it looks pretty pretty neat as well now this was a quick install and preview now i agree it didn't go as super smooth as expected but the rom is still a work in progress and to have it gotten this far it is amazing you can you know join the telegram group and you can go ahead and see the instructions over there and you may have a better experience now let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular wrong if you liked it give this video a like and share your comments do join our telegram channel as well until the next one this is kailash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye